So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Now Darquan looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play as we have reached the two-minute warning. So two minutes to go in a wild first half. We're back to Atlanta right after this timeout. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. take this up near the 35 maybe the 34 he's able to rattle off six on the carry and that'll get him to third and four to throw with smith getting out a ton of success here so far but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one yeah even on that one there was a little bit of a hole but it closed there quickly at the end a really good pickup of 28 yards on any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. They'll run with Darquan. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? They'll send Beckham in motion right. Now it's Smith and down he goes Vic Beasley coming hard on the blitz he dumps him for a loss of eight well that play was the very definition of fast quick and in a hurry suddenly he was there yeah blink of an eye that happened fast and a big sack now a tough spot for Geno Smith and company after the sack it's third and long Throwing on third down, Smith, eluding the pressure right. Looking for his receiver, Sharp, and it's intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant, and his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Ryan. Room to run past midfield. He completes it to Julio Jones. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. down Ryan it's caught over the middle Hooper and with one second left they get the timeout and they'll have a chance to kick the field goal before intermission so with one second left in the half on is the field goal unit it's a 39 yard attempt right hash Two-year-old veteran's kick is up and good. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break.
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Here's the Giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. On first and ten, Smith. He's going to look deep down the field. He's got a man complete. A gain of 32 that time. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback. So they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him. And he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Wasn't that long ago that the NFL guys really didn't adopt much from the college game. But one thing that has crept in there is spreading things out, opening things up. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Well, Charles, we've talked about controversial rules a lot this year, but in that Cowboys-Raiders game, Derek Carr going in to try to win the game, fumbled through the end zone. Of course, that's a touchback. The other team gets it. Is that a rule that you like? What do you think? Um, listen, I'm actually for the rule staying as it is. And for Derek Carr, the unfortunate part was when he fumbled the football, right, pylon is the problem. Because yeah. when you hit the pylon now and you don't have control of the ball, now you're through the end zone. If he fumbles the ball, doesn't hit the pylon, it's out of bounds at that spot. And, it's, and if you have downs left, it's still your football. So it's risk-reward, just bad luck in some cases about where the ball actually ends up and what it hits on its way out. So I don't want to reward the offense anymore and give them extra opportunities. Ball comes out of his hands, hits the pylon, reward the defense. You have cause a fumble. Yeah, it was just such a big week with the ruling catch-no-catch, catch, Pittsburgh, New England, and that play. And that was a big game for both of those teams. It certainly was. And you talk about week 15 of the NFL season in 2017, you're exactly right. We'll look back at a couple of rulings that may have altered some teams' opportunities to make the play. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. And now a first down following that long game. Back to the ground, this time with Freeman. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Ten more there and another first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Now a handoff. It's Freeman. And Freeman lost the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yeah, they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. 
And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Falcon defense has a touchdown. Well, Deion Jones and pick sixes, they're going together like, uh, like peas and carrots. <laughs> he, oh, boy, he had two of those, though, as a rookie last year. And I know part of the reason is his speed. He's one of the fastest linebackers that you're going to find in the NFL. But another part is he's not very tall. Sometimes he gets lost in coverage, 